सदाशिवसरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरां ओ किं ज्योतिस्तव भानुमान हनि रात्रौ प्रतिपादिकम् रात्रौ प्रतिपादिकम् स्यादेवम् रविदीपदर्शनविधौ स्यादेवम् रविदीपदर्शनविधौ किम् ज्योतिराख्याहिमे Chakshustasya nimila nadi samayem Chakshustasya nimila nadi samayem Kim dhirdhi yodarshanem Kim tatrahamato bhavan paramakam ज्योतिस्तदस्मि प्रभो ज्योतिस्तदस्मि प्रभो आदि शंकराचार्य हैविंग सीन दैट पंडिता हु इज in samsara problem. He want to elevate him from that samsara. Therefore, he is asking the questions step by step so that he can understand his real nature. By understanding which nature he can be free from that samsara problem. What do you mean by samsara Samsara means claiming oneself as body-mind complex. I am this body. I am this mind. And whatever the dukkha or sorrow comes through this body, taking that sorrow is also his own sorrow. That is called samsara. Once the person takes body as himself or herself, body has got death, body has got disease, old age, vyadhi, jara, maranam, both are natural to this physical body. When I take myself as body, naturally all these three defects also I am taking as mine. Instead of saying body has got birth, body has got death. Instead of saying body has got disease, instead of saying body has got old age, what I say, I have death, I have birth, I have disease, 
I have old age. So what belongs to the body, I take them as mine. Once I take up those three limitations as mine, I have that problem. I have that problem. I am suffering. I am miserable. This thought comes again and again. And next to what am I going to face next to problem? Like that the worry continues. <clears throat> How I claim the body as mine, I myself, and the defects of that body I take as mine, and I get tadatmyam, association with the defects, and I look at those defects really belong to me. And those defects, not one day or two days, not only to my body and my close relation also, the member who is attached to me, again, this body death, this body disease, this body old age, another related body, that body death, that body disease, that body old age, combined. Again, another person relation, again that. So all people's problems, my problems, all put together, what? Samsara. The whole day, whole week, whole month, whole year, all the years, as long as I live, this is my biodata. This is what my lot. And talking to the people about this samsara which is not real. Why this samsara came to me? Is it real this samsara? Not at all. This is only my superimposition. This is only because of my ignorance. This is only because of my wrong perception towards myself. Why this wrong perception? That is the nature of the body, mind complex. That wrong perception you have to convert it into right perception. That wrong knowledge you have to convert into right knowledge. <coughs> That superimposition you have to knock off. If uh, you want <clears throat> to come out of this samsara problem, I have to say, I have no birth, I have no death, I have no old age, I have no disease. Hey Pandita, that disease is not belong to you. You are not the body. Say, teacher cannot ask like that, no? You are not the body. You don't know I have problem. If you have problem, you know. <laughs> Therefore, teacher has to apply a method here. Huh? That method is very important. <coughs> the technique, you know, methodology, paddhati. Then only the student will slowly, gradually <coughs> understand. <coughs> Therefore, Shankaracharya asked a question here in this shloka. What is that question? Kim Jyotihi Tava Ahani Kim Jyotihi What is that light? Jyoti means light. First line. First word. Kim Jyotihi, what is that light, Tava, to you, Ahani, daytime. What is that light to you, to see things? Kim Jyotihi, first question. 
Tava Kim Jyotihi, what is the light for you, Ahani, in the daytime? Then Pandita gives answer, Bhanuman, the sun. Bhanu means sun. Simple answer, daytime I am seeing all objects because of sunlight. Answer over. Kim Jyotihi Ahani Tavan. Bhanuman. Answer is Bhanuman. Mama Jyotihi Ahani. The daytime my light is Surya Bhagavan. Wonderful. First one mark you got. An objective type questions. Madre. Hmm? It's, that's right. No? Then second question. <coughs> Ratrao. That's our question over. Radrav, Kim Jyotihi, you have to supply. That Kim Jyotihi, you have to supply. Radrav means in the night. Okay. Daytime, sunlight, everyone knows. Then we are seeing things in the night also. Radrav, Kim Jyotihi, what is that light? Then second question, the Pandita. Generally, student ask questions. Guru has to give answer. Sishya uh, Prasna, Guru Samadhanam. This is Ulta. Hmm? Guru Prasna, Sishya Samadhanam. Very nice, interesting. No? By asking question, the Guru is getting no, answer from the student so that he can clarify. Ratra Kim Jyotihi. Me Ratra Pradipadikam Jyotihi. For me, me means to me, <coughs> Ratra Pradipadikam means lamp, light, moonlight, full moon. Today, Pavunami, today night you go and see. Correct? No? This lesson and today is very, very coincide. Ah. Apt. It happens nicely. Today night you go and little bit interior to the tree. Without any lights are there. You can see the things in moonlight. If there are no clouds, you can see. Ratra Kim Jyotihi night. What is that light you through which you see things? That Pandita said, Pradipam, the lamp. Adi Padat, etc., etc., means moonlight, either tube light or any candle light, any light you keep except sunlight. Sunlight is not available. This is the second question. Anama Vasya day, so moonlight is not available all the days. Night, sometimes Amavasya comes. Then what are the Adi Padat, stars? Etc. Adi means etc. That etc. you have to put moonlight, candlelight, or lamp, or stars. And I'm a, see, who are all in cities nowadays with these lights? And that? They do not know the importance of stars, how they are illumining and giving light. In villages and all, they... Uh, can walk only in starlight, you know. And the stars give that much brightness, you know, in Anamavasya Day. So, Anamavasya Day, stars. The night, the lamp, the moonlight gives. Night time, these are the illuminaries, luminaries for me to see the things. Well, second question also over, answer is also over. Two marks you got, okay, the student. Then, Syad, suppose it is so, Syad, if it is so, Evam Ravi Deepa Darshana Vidho Kim Jyotihi. To see this Ravi, Ravi means sun, Deepa means lamp, I. It's very nice to see objects in the daytime you are seeing through sunlight. Through s in the night you are seeing objects through the lamp. 
and moonlight but i want to know what is that life light that which helps you to see the sunlight and moonlight evam syat if it is so first line very well now slowly he is getting now what is that light which makes you to see the sunlight and what is that light which helps you which makes you to see the moonlight through the moonlight you see the tree to the sunlight you you see the tree or hall room but i am asking to see that sunlight to see that moonlight what is the light uh, here only difficult first line is clear <laughs> this second line onwards little tough and tough na tough subject tough okay ravi deepa darshana vidhau ravi means sun deepa means moonlight lamp stars darshana vidhau no to see them tava kim jyoti hi this is the third question what is the third question ravi deepa darshana vidhau tava to you kim jyoti hi syat that you put put the question you can write the question in this manner third question ravi deepa darshana vidhau tava kim jyoti hi syat when you are seeing the things with sun and moon i am asking to see the sun light and the moonlight what is that luminary helps you to see both of them both of them means the sunlight and the moonlight how do you know this is sunlight how do you know this is moonlight what is that light tell me kimsya jyotihi syat answer chakshuhu mama jyotihi Now that is in third line chakshuhu that's all chakshuhu over you have to supply chakshuhu mama jyotihi ravi deepa darshane chakshuhu mama jyotihi or ravi deepa darshane chakshuhu eva mama jyotihi my light is through that eyes only i am able to see this sunlight and moonlight correct then a blind man cannot see sitness andaha na pashyate kah pashyate the one who is having the eyes only can see the sunlight and moonlight therefore that is also right chakshuhu chakshuhu means eyes how many questions over now three questions over three answers over chakshuhu mama jyoti fourth question chakshuhu nimilanaadi samaye tasya kim jyoti tasya nimilanaadi samaye tasya ante you were eyes when you close nimilana means closing when you open your eyes you are able to see sunlight and you are able to see the moonlight through the eyes i am asking you when you close your eyes when you close your eyes don't close now okay if you close your eyes chakshuhu nimilanaadi samaye at the time of closing your eyes nimilanaadi samaya means at the time samaya means at the time of nimilanam closing chakshuhu chakshuhu tasya means of those eyes when you close those eyes what is that luminary giving the knowledge of objects chakshur nimilanaadi samaye kim over question dhi hi that's all buddhi my buddhi is the light 
when I close my eyes. Through buddhi I know. Now, through the sunlight I am seeing the mic. So Chakshu is the Karanam, he said. Now I close my eyes. Who knows this mic? Buddhi knows. Buddhi recollects. That is Antakaranam. When I close my eyes, through the Buddhi I know. That is, here knowing is called Jyoti. Why they are all called Jyotis? Light is that in whose presence things are known. This is very important law we have to note. Light means, generally we see what is light. Jyoti, he is that in whose presence I know the things. Therefore, buddhihi can be called as jyotihi. You should not think jyoti means a lamp, oil, wick. Hmm? That jyoti through that I am seeing things. But here, eyes, how they can be jyoti? What light is there? What oil? What is there? Which oil, wick and all jyoti? No, it is as good as jyoti. How beautiful you see that light to light you, know, you are seeing thing, but this is also jyoti. Why? In its presence I am seeing things. Because of its presence I am seeing things. Therefore, it can be called jyoti or not? Yes. Ah, jyoti. My eyes are called jyoti. Why? They are serving the purpose same like that light. Therefore, this also can be called as Jyoti, light. In whose presence things are known. Because of this eye's presence, my these objects are known. Then Buddhi also is called a Jyoti. Why not? Because, apply the same law. By whose presence things are known. Because Buddhi presence, things are known. There is bus standing, blue color bus. There are trees are there. Now you close your eyes. You are not seeing sunlight, you are not seeing moonlight, you are not seeing opening your eyes. The bus is there, tree is there. Who is giving that knowledge? Buddhi. Therefore, Buddhi is the jyoti for me when I close my eyes. When I say Buddhi is the light, there, there is no sunlight, no moonlight, even eyes are not opened. Very, very subtle subject. Now, whole Vedanta I am putting in one sloka. Ah, be alert. Okay, early morning. Okay. Dhi buddhi is the light. Okay, clear? Can I go further? Ah, if you are alert, I can move further. Otherwise, I am stagnant. Therefore, any questions, doubts are there, suppose, keep aside. Don't carry away by the that doubts. Keep them aside. Listen to the subject. Suppose, um, my talk is going on, your doubts are going on, coming along with you. you can, the subject will not enter for time being. If questions are there, just keep aside and write down later. Okay? Now, the fourth question Chakshuhu nimilanadi samaye kim jyotihi dhihi over. My intellect alone is the light. Now the fifth question. Dhihi darshani kim jyotihi. The kim is in the middle. You have to supply both. Two questions are there. Dhihi darshani. To see the intellect. What is that light? To know your intellect, what is that light? This is more tougher. No? The tough and the tougher. Final comes the toughest. When I close my eyes, Buddhi's intellect, Swamini, it is fine. But uh, to know the Buddhi, what is light? No? I am not able to understand anything. Eh? 
here we have to understand slowly dehi darshane means uh, two ways we can present dehi darshane i present first then dehi adarshane i present very very subtle topic dehi the whole antakarana manas or buddhi bhuta one and the same when mind is having samshayam it is mind antakarana is having samshayam doubt it is mind when it is having decision taking time it is called buddhi so therefore buddhi and mind we can combine here when you are getting dreams dream when you are getting who is knowing the dream you we know only to say our dreams i got this dream yesterday you know i got this dream i saw this dream i saw this dream acharya is asking who is knowing that dream whatever answer you give that wrong answer only will come i know <laughs> suppose you say the mind knows the dream suppose you say mind knows the dream just as the buddhi knows the dream buddhi or mind knows the dream if you say shastra says really speaking the mind all experiences what you have seen in the day time that in the mind they only appear as dream the manas only become object in the dream this is another subtlest point very difficult to analyze dream is nothing but the mind's projection mind become an object in the dream dream is nothing but mind projection mind manifest as a dream the mind's projection only dream mind cannot see the dream because the mind itself is a dream and the mind ku le irukra thoughts what are all thoughts are there in the mind just they project that is the mind the knower of the dream is none different from that mind the knower of that dream is the subject that what you know the dream is whole mind and the vasanas thoughts that is just reflecting you know that's why mind is an object in the dream there must be some subject to know that dream who is that thirile and somebody is there otherwise how do you know the dream i know my dream appa bhayendita amma what really i was frightened that frightening nightmare dream known by someone but not by the mind why mind is absent in sleep mind is not functioning there if mind is functioning is it a, a dream state or waking state appa <laughs> if mind is functioning to know the dream you cannot call it as a dream state it is a waking state because your mind is now functioning fully active fully active therefore you are able to receive knowledge i am asking you what knowledge you are receiving in the sleep you know no knowledge i am receiving that means what mind is totally passive not totally passive half active and half active and and the mind which is passive is projecting its own thoughts therefore the mind is an object and a thought cannot exist separate from the mind think over later okay so therefore he says dihi darshane kim jyotihi that is dhiyaha darshane you can write he says answer tatra at the time of dream at the time of dream tatra when i am not seeing the daylight 
I am not seeing, opening my eyes, when my mind is not functioning, my light is aham, naan, enak da teriyum, naake telustunnadi e kala, anantara kada, naake telustunnadi, I am the knower of this dream. You cannot see mind. I am the knower of this dream. But uh, you are the knower of the dream, you know, in the dream or after waking? <laughs> ah. <laughs> after waking only you know you are... Eh, you got dream. Why you do not know when you are dreaming? Uh, if that is mind, you should know. Hmm? If that is the mind, suppose you say mind is getting the dream, that time itself you should get. Ah, I got the dream. Immediately you call the person, you know, I am getting dream, you know, I am getting dream. But you are not calling anyone, even the person who is sleeping nearby, see, I am getting the dream, see, I am seeing my dream. No, none of us can talk like that. Isn't it? None of us. That itself is a proof, mind is not watching the dream. If mind is watching the dream, you know, this dream is not good. Let us not see this dream. You are helpless in dream. Eh? Tiger is chasing. Whether you like it or not, it will chase you. If mind is functioning, I don't want this tiger to chase me. Let me change my dream. Like uh, TV channel, Madre. In the serial is not nice. Therefore, let me change the channel. If mind is seeing that dream, you could have changed your channel. But you are helpless in the dream. Bad dream, very very bad dream also, you have to undergo helplessly. That itself shows mind is not functioning there. This is the proof. Yes or no? Yes, you have to say yes, no way. Okay? Then, who is knowing that dream? Bad dream, good dream, wonderful dream, nice dream, pleasant dream? I am the knower. I am the knower. Who is that I? That, that person recognizes, oh, I am not the mind. The one who is seeing the mind projection dream, some one is different. When I am seeing something, that seen object must be different from the seer or not. Yeah. When I see this clip, clip is different from me or not. Whatever I see is called seen object. That object is seen by someone is called seer. Drik. This is Drishyam. Drik and Drishyam. Object and the subject. The seer is called what? Subject. Seen thing is called what? Object. Subject, object. Subject is different, object is different. Subject is the seer, object is seen. So seer cannot be seen, seen cannot be the seer. Subject cannot be the object, object cannot be the subject. Since I am seeing my dream, that which is the mind, I am different from the mind. Who is this different from the mind? Aham, naan, naan, nenu, chusyanu, kalani, ye nenu yavar. Manasa jolde, manasa chuste, akade matla dhani kada? చెప్పచ్చు కదా మనసు కనుక చూస్తూ ఉంటే కళని మనసు చెప్పచ్చు కదా అండి ఐఎమ్ ఓన్లీ సీయింగ్ ద డ్రీమ్ అని నో దేర్ ఫోర్ దట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ద మైండ్ సమ్ వన్ ఎల్స్ అదర్ దాన్ మైండ్ ఇఫ్ మైండ్ అలోన్ ఈస్ సీయింగ్ మైండ్ హ్యాస్ టు సే దిస్ ఈస్ ద డ్రీమ్ ఐఎమ్ సీయింగ్ బట్ మైండ్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ క్యాపబుల్ ఆఫ్ Uh, saying, I am seeing the dream, that means someone else other than the mind. Watching the dream. Adida Dhyo Darshani. 
ದೇಹ ದರ್ಶನ ಏನ ಟು ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಇಂಟಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ಸಿ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಇಂಟಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮೈ ಇಂಟರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾಮಿನ್ ಈಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಇಂಟಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಮೈ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಸೀವಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಲಿ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ನೋವರ್ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಈಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಇನ್ ವೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಮೈ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ರಿಸೀವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವೈ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಅಹಂ ದೆನ್ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಸೇಸ್ ಅತಃ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅತಃ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಭವಾನ್ ಭವಾನ್ ಪರಮಕಂ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಲೈಟ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ದ ಇಂಟಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಮನಿಂಗ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇಲ್ಯೂಮಿನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ನೋವರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅತಃ ತಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಕಾರಣಾತ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಹಾಂ ದಟ್ ಇಂಟಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪರಮಕಂ ತಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಅತಃ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ತಸ್ಮಾತ್ ಕಾರಣಾತ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಭವಾನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಪರಮಕಂ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಇಲ್ಯೂಮಿನೇಟರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಇಲ್ಯೂಮಿನೇಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಇಲ್ಯೂಮಿನೇಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಐಸ್ ಐಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಇಲ್ಯೂಮಿನೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೂನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೋಸ್ ಸನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೂನ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಇಲ್ಯೂಮಿನೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಆರ್ ದ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಲ್ಯೂಮಿನೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಲ್ಯೂಮಿನೇಟರ್ ಮೂನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಲ್ಯೂಮಿನೇಟರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಲ್ಯೂಮಿನೇಟರ್ ಐಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಲ್ಯೂಮಿನೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಲ್ಯೂಮಿನೇಟರ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆರ್ಡ್ನರಿ ಇಲ್ಯೂಮಿನೇಟರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ದ ಇಲ್ಯೂಮಿನೇಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಇಲ್ಯೂಮಿನೇಟರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಏದೋ ಪುದುಸ ಚೊಲ್ಲೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಯು ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಯು ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೋ ಡ್ರೌಸ್ ಈ ನೋ ಅನ್ನ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ನ ಪರಮಕಂ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಹೂ ನೋಸ್ ದ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ನಾವು ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಿ ಎಸ್ಟರ್ಡೆ ನೋ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಲಿ ಅನ್ನ ಹೂ ನೋಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪರಮಕಂ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ this is the fifth question dhiyah darshane kim jyotihen aham he said therefore shankaracharya said you are the supreme illuminator jyotihi then pandita says that once the shankaracharya says you are that param jyotihen tat ahem asmi prabhu he says pandita yes he acharya you are true i am that illuminator i am that illuminator i am not the intellect i am the illuminator of the intellect i am not the eyes i am the illuminator of the eyes i am not uh, um, sun light who is the illuminator or moonlight all these are illumined by the eyes eyes are illumined by the buddhi buddhi is the illumined by me the consciousness tat chaitanyam brahma aham asmi aham brahma asmi prabho he prabho ho acharya revered acharya now i have understood slokam is over how much we have understood now we have to struggle okay i will try to present here we can put in a dhiyaha um, darshane when you are seeing the dream dhiyaha darshane means to see that intellect no? to see that intellect intellect is absent in see suppose you are in waking state okay let us uh, do some analysis here i am in waking state shloka is over teaching is over 
now the job is we have to do lot of enquiry here this is what enquiry means ramana maharshi did lot of enquiry who am i who am i um, you will get gnana adilla enquiry na enquiry means anveshana enquiry means analysis enquiry means consistent systematic study of vedantic scriptures under a competent teacher for a length of time is called enquiry okay please note enquiry means swami every time i have to come to class sitting camp and no i'll sit and close my eyes who am i who am i who am i because those books are available in ramana ashram who am i ramana maharshi asked who am i who am i he got answer for i am also ramana maharshi <laughs> when teacher herself or himself teaching you cannot understand eh? how can you claim you are eh? you want to enquire na adella panna ade don't think you are a ramanujam anna namaku 4 4 is equal to 8 and doubt hmm? don't think you are a ramanujam anna ramanujam mathematician the boy should not think i am also a ramanujam avarku he because ramanujam used to teach you know maths to his teacher because of poor janma similarly ramana maharshi also because of he has completed his study in purva janma according to shastra without guru no one can get knowledge this is a very very widely spreading people when ramana maharshi has got knowledge why i have to go to guru i also am like a ramana maharshi he ramana maharshi has already completed in previous janma that he has brought forward here in this janma young age itself he has picked up that knowledge samskara so therefore we should take him as a great inspiration for us we should not follow that therefore this is what great blunder people does here of course they waste their life what to do we cannot help them therefore this is a previous samskara therefore we have to do enquiry what way by shravanam shravanam we have to do enquiry now let us see dhiyaha adarshane dhiyaha means intellect when it is not manifesting dhiyaha adarshane in deep sleep now dream uh, through dream i have presented you know, who is seeing that dream dhiyaha darshane you know, and the mind dream projection done by the buddhi or mind to see that i the consciousness even deep sleep also another example brahadaranya upanishad gives in deep sleep you have don't have dream okay sometimes a class will have dream varu <laughs> while sitting in the class itself some people get dream na okay sleep get dream doesn't matter okay because you are helpless it happens you never plan so and so time i have to sleep let me get a dream <laughs> and you cannot plan today so and so dream should come uh, let me have this dream you know? whom you like you want to get in dream but unfortunately whom you don't like <laughs> they only come you know why we we'll, we always think about the person whom we don't like we, you, that person should not come that person should not come <laughs> having thought of like this continuously that person alone will come <laughs> and then to next next day morning you come on and tells others you know uh, see you know i got very bad <laughs> dream <laughs> nothing else you think continuously about that person he alone comes similarly thank god bhagwan kept to deep sleep there is a time without dream that is deep sleep gaadh sushupti na gaadh nidra in that gaadh nidra you are not disturbed no dream also you are not disturbed you are you know, what you say after waking up aham sukham asvaswam nakinchid avedisham i do not know anything i slept well bhaga nidra poinanandi ninna ratri high ga nidra poinan okka kala kuda raledu disturbance ledu telugu okay <laughs> tamil nalla thungita enaku onnume theriyadu 
I don't know anything. I slept well. Now tell me, who knows that? Who is that knower of that uh, sukham in that deep sleep? I don't know anything. I don't know anything means that itself is a proof. Mind is not functioning, buddhi is not functioning. I slept well. You got the knowledge. What knowledge? I slept well. Sukham aswapsam. Comfortably I slept. Who is the experiencer of that sukham? We never think. We never think. Eh? Who is that? Shastra says that is ever evident consciousness. That ahamasmi. Dhyaha adarshane, when intellect is not functioning, when I say I slept well, someone is there to note that point. What? Ah, sukham. Sukham. That's why everybody loves to sleep, no? Because in there you don't have any stress, worry, pressure, any problem. Even knee pain, back pain, eye pain, Mother in law pain, father in law pain, job pain, you know, all these problems are not there. Therefore, we are able to say Sukham Aswapsam. Gadha Nidra, deep sleep is gives Sukham. But the someone is there to know that sleep, deep sleep, Sukhas. So that no worry is consciousness. Consciousness or I? I am our consciousness. No. Ah, here the problem. Here. After waking up, you, you can never say, My consciousness yesterday. <laughs> My consciousness yesterday enjoyed the sleep. Are you saying that? Or... Ah, I slept well. I enjoyed that. I is called Atmaswarupa. That means I am not the intellect. I am not the mind, I am not the eyes, I am not the body. Body, totally I have forgotten. Eyes I have forgotten. Mind I have forgotten. And intellect also, all are passive, passive, passive completely. That is the proof. The whole body-mind complex is an object. Through sleep itself you can get self-knowledge. Self-knowledge... <laughs> Through sleep you get self-knowledge means through the analysis of sleep you get knowledge, not in sleep. You can never get knowledge in sleep. Why? To get knowledge, knowledge requires waking state. Knowledge requires waking state. When that same intellect which is matter has to be active. Therefore, even in, that is why I am able to say boldly, in Samadhi also one cannot get knowledge. When you suspend your intellect mind in Samadhi, deep absorption, you can never get Aham Brahmasmi Jnana. This is another important point we have to note. There are so many yogis, those who are doing practice, they go to deep samadhi. Uh, deep samadhi means what? Another type of sleep. Mm. Wakeful sleep. This is the sleep. <laughs> this is wakeful sleep. They, even oh, yoga philosophy, accept that samadhi you attain realization. Here only Advaita philosophy objects. Yesterday I said all religions cannot reach to the same goal. All religions reach to the same purification of the mind. All religions cannot reach the same goal. Swamiji says, Dhyananda Swamiji, very boldly you can say, all religions cannot reach to the, all religion philosophies cannot reach the same goal. Same goal is what? Aham Brahmasmi Jnanam. 
knowing that consciousness which is the consciousness of devi rama krishna ishvara whole world that consciousness i am can be recognized only by the advaita philosophy that is only hinduism so everyone has to follow hindu dharma hindu dharma is not a just a religion it is a way of life which is based on sanatana dharma you know why hinduism is so great now because hinduism alone can give that ultimate goal therefore hinduism is the greatest religion we say not for religious practices all religions cannot give this knowledge christian philosophy cannot reach this knowledge muslim islam philosophy cannot reach this knowledge in any religion because hindu religion is totally based on vedas we can say boldly even hinduism if negates vedas hinduism also out huh as long as hinduism is and on, on the foundation of vedas it survives that is why hinduism is surviving in, in spite of onslaughts of many religions only because of this vedic foundation this knowledge once hinduism forgets this knowledge vedic knowledge advaita philosophy goes from hinduism hinduism also another christianity like understand therefore i am proud to say i am hindu means i am a sanyasini i am beyond the religion that's why until you come to this knowledge you have to hold on to religion for chitta shuddhi to get knowledge everyone has to come to advaita philosophy you need not become a hindu you be in your own religion but you have to accept that highest knowledge that's why we don't compel them to come to this religion religion wise okay philosophy hindu philosophy ki you have to come that's why yoga what to talk of other religions even yoga philosophy we don't accept sankhya philosophy we don't accept even other astika systems in hinduism itself cannot give this knowledge na what to talk of other religions therefore this knowledge is possible only when you come to vedanta aham brahma asmi is it a belief tell me now is it a belief heaven is there it's a belief non verifiable belief but aham brahma asmi i am the witnesser experiencer observer of this mind body complex is a knowledge it is not a belief for whom no no i am a christian i don't want to be, eh, believe in you are hey eh, you are a christian you are atma only for christian call so same nidra same god nidra same witnesser for muslim also same nidra same witnesser same experience for hindu also same nidra same experience not knowing this people are totally enamored by so many practices so many types of mystic powers so many sadhana samadhi also cannot give why in, in samadhi you are what you are doing you are temporarily stopping the mind to function and they think that is atma gnana temporarily after samadhi again you wake up and come out from samadhi if every samadhi gives person become knowledgeable i can say in sleep also you will become knowledgeable uh, how many years we are sleeping <laughs> but knowledge has not come if samadhi gives knowledge i will say sleep also must give knowledge to so are ignorant as ignorant as yesterday in sleep also mind that intellect is not functioning there is no possibility of knowledge similar in samadhi also the temporary you are suspending that is the right word you are suspending your mind in the samadhi 
I don't want any thoughts. Thoughts go, 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 go. I don't want any thoughts. Thoughtless state is called samadhi. That thoughtless state is samadhi. That thoughtless state is called attainment. Who said? Who said thoughtless state is attainment? Yes, that is attainment. You are doing a Himalayan blender. Thoughtless state is not attainment. Thoughtless state happens many times. You need that happens in deep sleep. Ah, you tell that. Thoughtless state will happen in deep, deep sleep also. Why you have to go to samadhi? Daily I am going to samadhi. When? I am going to sleep. What you are doing? You are sitting, sleeping. <laughs> what? Sitting and thoughtless state. I am lying down, thoughtless state. I am more comfortable than you. <laughs> thoughtless state. Shastra says, Gaudapadacharya says in Mandukya Karika, Amani Bhava, thoughtless state, now in waking state itself, I can see that thoughtless state because I am the observer of thought. Thought and thought between thoughtless state. From one thought to another thought when you are going, is there gap or not? Is there any thought? No. And who is the witnesser of that thoughtless state? I am. Therefore, Presence of thought, absence of thought, they are coming and going just as the screen watching the TV nicely. Scenes are changing, but one is not changing. What is it? Screen. But when you are seeing the scenes, you forget the screen. And then you scream. <laughs> you scream when you miss the screen. Similarly, I am the waker. Go to dream. Project the dream. I am the dreamer, creator of dream. I am the creator of dream. After some time, it is bad dream. I scream there. I become a creature. There, I am chasing by what? Tiger or lion. I become a creature in the dream. Who am I really? I am the creator. Creator became creature. Why? That creator of dream forgotten, I am the creator of dream. Similarly, in waking state also, we have forgotten we are consciousness. I am the substratum giving the whole chaitanyam to this creation I have forgotten and I became the creature in this creation. Really speaking, I am the creator. I, the consciousness, is the creator of this creation. Because of missing this I, the consciousness, in the jnanam illatnana, in this whole creation I became a creator. And a crea creature. I am victimizer. No? That victim, not victimizer. I am the victim. Whole world is victimizing me. Whole world is victimizer. Bhagavan is watching this. Bhagavan is watching. Because whole world is exploiting me, cheating me, giving problems. I am the victim. Whole world is victimizer. Now, victimizing me, who is watching this whole drama, our male sitting up. Hey, what is this? How long you want in this? Eh? This is okay when you are young, initial stages, but not for lifelong. Mature people, thinking people will never continue in that. If you are a thinking person, if you consider you are a thinking person, come to the next class. You know, Swami, thinking, eh, Venda? This is the land of thinkers. Not Arunachalam, Thirumannamalai. Whole India is the land of thinkers, not land of believers. 
we are the believers in initial stages we encourage believers but we want to convert all believers into thinkers that is the knowledge on this land so that pandita recognized aham brahma asmi this is the purpose of human life not eating sleeping you can eat breakfast <laughs> but not that is the goal going to girivalayam is not the goal girivalayam is okay it is a type of tapas but ultimately you have to come to knowledge never forget the goal that every camp is every class what i take is only for this knowledge only so therefore pandita is liberated what about us purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vasishyate om shanti 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 hi hari hi om shri gurubhyo namaha hari hi